Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. It's uh, 4th of July morning here in the United States. So uh, happy 4th of July to everybody here in the United States and uh, good morning to everyone else uh, around the world. Um, uh, it's a beautiful day here today. It's about, it's already 78 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be a hot one. Uh, we've had lots of rain so it's going to be humid. Uh, but that's really what we need to get our crops growing good around here. Uh, the corn is uh, over knee high. It's between knee high and waist high already. So they always say knee high by the fourth. Uh, that that around here lately has been uh, kind of an old wise tale. Usually lately it's been around chest height to uh, shoulder height by the fourth of July uh, with the crops the way we plant them nowadays and stuff. But it's a little behind this year because we had so much rain. But anyways, I'm heading downtown to Delavan, Wisconsin. Uh, heading to the fire department. They have a benefit uh, going on. It's a pancake breakfast uh, So I'm gonna go down there and uh, Help the local fire department out a little bit uh, They don't come too often to my area. Uh, they will come if support's needed uh, Darien is the first one on call and, and Whitewater and then Delavan also responds to once in a while uh, But I like to support the local fire departments if I can uh, cost a lot of money and uh, they uh, they need the best equipment they can they're always putting their, their lives on the line uh, almost daily so uh, like to help the local fire departments out so I figured I'd uh, bring this camera along with me maybe we'll get to see some of their equipment fire trucks and stuff and I can give you a little view of uh, what's going on so uh, I'll meet you when I get to Delavan so uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit just had to show you this I was on my way to town uh, and I happened to see these hawks up on the pole pretty interesting I can see one way on the very top and then there's one down on the cross member if you can see that so they must be uh, hunting something probably some mice there's some uh, round bales over here and they're probably looking for some mice or rabbits or something but just thought I'd show you that and uh, I'll meet you in Delavan well, I'm here at the Delavan Fire Department, and there's a little pretty big turnout, it looks like. Lots of cars down the road, and parking spots on both sides of the buildings that look like they're pretty full. And they do have all their fire trucks all out on display. And uh, just when I walk by them, they all look like they're pretty spotless and all waxed up and ready to go. So uh, I'm going to get in there and get some breakfast, and this... See what's going on. Didn't that look good? Boy, that was delicious. I'm full now. Uh, I figure I'll show you the fire trucks out here. I'll start with the smallest and go up to the bigger ones. I'm not sure what this is used for, but I'm guessing it's for maybe going out and brush fires or out in the fields for little little small fires or maybe the chief rides around in there. I'm not sure. But here's another one here. I'm no fire expert. I'm not sure what they're all used for. But this is a squad number one, it says. Look at all those gauges and knobs and dials. Wow. What they call a hook and ladder truck. 
is 121 feet up there, so I'm guessing it goes up to a little over 12 stories high. That's pretty high. Surprise. That all extends out. got these things polished up nice. This is snozzle on it. I'm not sure what that is. I guess those are different kinds of water dispersing nozzles on the end. One's got real fine points on it, or like a sprinkler it looks like. And the other one shoots out more of a stream it looks like. That would be my guess. Love the grill. That's awesome. Red, white, and blue. Unbelievable all these gauges and knobs and stuff. I can't believe it. Pretty cool. Go to the back side and look take a look at these. This fire department isn't very old, I'm not sure. It hasn't been too long. I'm guessing within the last five years, maybe a little longer. But it's very, very nice. You're fine. I even got some raffle tickets, so maybe I'll win in the raffle. Anyways, it was a great way to start out the 4th of July morning. And I hope you enjoyed looking at the fire trucks. And uh, sorry, I didn't hope, or hopefully I didn't make you too hungry looking at the pancakes and uh, French toast and sausages. Uh, but hope you enjoyed it. Uh, they're really, really good. And it was a great event. So I recommend everybody, if you're in the area next 4th of July and they have this going on, stop by for breakfast. It's a good way to get your day started. I have just one question before I leave. Am I the only one that puts sugar on pancakes and uh, French toast along with their butter and syrup? Uh, seems like I was the only one here using sugar on them. Uh, I was taught that by my dad. I don't know if that's an Irish thing or what, uh, but I like sugar on my pancakes. Um, just curious. Uh, so anyways, have a nice day and uh, have a happy 4th of July, all everyone in the United States. And uh, we'll catch you all later. Have a great day, everyone. Bye now.